Over the past century, the average life expectancy in the US has nearly doubled. Some of these advancements have largely been in the medical field, drastically reducing death by bacterial or viral infections. Two of these major medical advancements have been the development of many vaccines and the invention of true antibiotics in 1928. February 8th, 2018 was a date when a huge step Towards yet another vast medical achievement occurred. Extraordinarily, scientists were able to create a so called mini kidney. They began with the basic stem cells grown in a culture specifically designed for the development of a kidney, turning them into small pieces of the organ. These pieces were combined with a gel that functioned similarly to connective tissue and were injected into the bodies of mice. After a few months, something absolutely extraordinary happened. This small collection of cells and gel had developed into a structure that was functional. It was now a series of small units of the kidney, known as nephrons, that could not only excrete urine, but work together and filter blood. This extraordinary feat all came from a single collection of stem cells. A few years from now, we may be able to use a similar technique to grow a full human kidney implanting it into a human in need. If you'd like to see more about the study, you can check out the link down below in the description. So what are the potentials of this technology and how exactly does it work? The basis of this new biotechnology are stem cells. So what is a stem cell? Well, normal cells throughout our body tend to be specialized. They have specific roles in our body. These are the normal cells you'd think of red blood cells in blood, skin cells, I'm sure you can guess where those are, and neurons in the brain. All these cells have set functions and have different structures, but the same DNA, yours. The structures they have are defined by certain markers and epigenetics, which turn them on or off. Therefore, only some genes are expressed, and they are different in your red blood cells than that in your neurons. That is worthy of a whole new video. Specialized cells such as those examples cannot turn into anything else and will stay that way as long as they live. But what cells give rise to these specialized cells? This is where stem cells come into play. In a process called differentiation, stem cells can become specialized, turning into your neurons, blood cells, skin cells, etc. For example, if you have a wound, stem cells will become skin cells so that you can heal faster and not have a hole in your skin for the rest of your life. A cell like this would be somatic, which is an adult stem cell used for repairing tissue. They are found in the brain, skin, and bone marrow. Embryonic stem cells, meanwhile, are found in developing embryos, and they have even more potential. There is some controversy about those, however, because they come from eggs in an in vitro fertilization clinic. These eggs were not implanted in the mother's uterus and were willingly donated. However, there is still some debate about whether or not a life was taken by doing this. But stem cells show absolutely immense potential, opening the door to a technology known as bioprinting, generating organs from a series of stem cells. This would revolutionize medicine, making us not rely on organ donation and risk having the transplanted organ be rejected by the patient's immune system. In the future, we could grow complete hearts, lungs, and more. Even brains could be healed with embryonic stem cells treating diseases like Alzheimer's. In summary, despite the ethics of the technology, stem cells could be a revolution in the medical world and open the door to countless new treatments. This technology is still in its infancy, however steps are being taken in bounds and leaps, especially after the growth of a mini kidney. Stem cells could be the next great medical innovation. We've just reached an immense milestone in our YouTube story, reaching 100 subscribers. In celebration, we put up this new channel art on our homepage. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. For facts that hint at our next video, follow our Instagram. And don't forget to always dig deeper.